Okay, so, but still, let's just set this up first and explain what's involved with it before we actually put anything in and actually start to use it. So the still comes in two parts. This is the top part, which, in, which holds the fan. And in the bottom part, you have a stainless steel chamber. And on the stainless steel chamber, I'm hoping that we can get it, there is there a little indentation at four liters. And it's got the message on it full with a line underneath it. With two parts to the plug, one which goes to the main, and you can see there's a little switch on it as well. And then the other part, it's where the top joins up with the bottom and we plug in. So that goes in there, that goes in there, and we've got the on off switch. You can probably hear the fan going now. Okay, on the front, we have a nozzle which just goes into position here and simply just pushes up. Oh, he says, get it into place. Thank you, Richard. Like so, that's into position. And then we've got our collection chamber. So that part is for collecting the alcohol. That part of the jug, as you can see, it's got the funnel on the front. We've also then got the other part, which has the carbon filter set on the bottom. And what we're gonna do is we collect our alcohol on here, we then dilute down to below 50% to 40%. We then pour it into here. That is in position here. The alcohol then goes through the pre-soaked carbon cartridge into the chamber at the bottom. And we'll end up with roughly 1.2 liters of alcohol, but I'll come on to that in a minute. We've also got the lid that goes with it. So that goes in place. We have some ceramic boil enhancers. Now the ceramic boil enhancers, they will go in the base of the still before we add the wash. And we've also got some distiller's conditioning and we're gonna put roughly a couple of capfuls of this into the wash as well. So that's the setup on the still. What we'll now do is we're now gonna take some liquid, some of our lovely clear liquid, 14% alcohol, and we're just gonna put it into our machine. So we're just gonna unplug it. I'm just gonna take the lead out of it as well so that we're not messing with any electrics. And I'm just gonna jug from here four liters. more. Lovely. We're just up to the full line here. I'm now going to put my uh, ceramic saddles in. Those ceramic saddles we will use time and time and time again. They will every so often need a good clean. Something like Coca-Cola does seem to do the job, if not a little bit of citric acid or some of our cleaner sterilizer will do the job on that. So they go in every time. Obviously, each time, just give them a rinse after before you use them again. I'm gonna put a couple of capfuls of distiller's conditioning in. Just roughly, one, two. In she goes. The reason behind the ceramic saddles and the distiller's conditioning is we wanna prevent anti-foaming and if you like a, uh, you know when you put a, a milk pan on the stove, you can get bubbles forming on the base of the pan. And when those bubbles join together, they create like a little explosion. Well, the same thing happens with the still. So the, the idea of the ceramic saddles is to break that bubbling process up so that you've got lots of little small bubbles as opposed to one or two or three big bubbles that can do the explosion. The anti-foaming is the distiller's conditioning as well. So we've now got that in place. We're just gonna put our lid on. Ooh. In she goes, and the end goes on there, like so, and we're gonna switch on. And underneath, we're gonna put our collection chamber. Now, I'm gonna switch this off for a second because I'm talking, 
but we will come back. We're going to collect roughly between seven and eight hundred mils into our collection chamber. That is going to be at roughly 60% alcohol. And we're going to then dilute that down to 40% by adding 50% water to it. So our 800 mils, we're going to add another 400 mils to it. We're going to make 1200 mils. We've reduced our alcohol strength from 60 down to 40. And at that point, we can run it through our carbon filter. But let's let this run. The first hour it's going to warm up, give or take, depends on the liquid temperature. It might be a bit longer, might be a bit less. We're going to collect 800 mils and that collection process will take a further hour. So we're an hour to warm up, an hour to collect, two hours from start to finish. And again, roughly. Now what I always do is I will always just put a little mark on here. Uh, you can see there's a scale down the side. Put a mark on there in black felt tip or something uh, at the 800 mils. So it is then much easier to work out. You don't have to stand here watching this all the time, just let it go. Might be worth setting your phone or an alarm for two hours and then that point you can come back and just check it and make sure all's good. Might be you might need a few minutes longer. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that now and I'll come back when I've collected the 800 mils. So I'm switching my little baby on. On she goes and let's hope that we'll be getting some alcohol soon. A couple of points I should have mentioned. The idea on the still is that alcohol boils off when the temperature gets between 78 and 82. So what's happening at that point is the liquid gets up to 78. This is preset, this machine, so that it will boil at 78 to 80. When I say boil, boil the alcohol at 78 to 82. The vapors will then come off that liquid and they'll go up into this coil at the top, which is the fan. The fan will then turn those vapors in the coil back into liquid. And it's the liquid which is coming out. So that's the alcohol that you're getting out of this machine. That's the way a still works. Now, if you've suddenly collected more than 800 mils, I mean, I'm not saying if, if it's 820, don't worry about it. But if you suddenly collected 1,000 or 1,200 mils of alcohol because you've been distracted, you've had to go and do something else, don't worry. Switch the machine off, take your alcohol, lift the lid, pour it back in. And let's start again. Because after the 800 mils, the quality and the strength is greatly reduced. And we feel that 800 is the absolute op optimum of what you should collect. Any more, the quality is not worth having. And for the cost of it, you're looking at pens. It's just not worth doing. So that's why we're saying that. We've collected our 800 mils in our collection chamber. Just while we're on that subject, obviously here, I've still got quite a bit of wash to do. If you can, try and run that through as quickly as you can through the machine. The reason I'm saying that is that because you've got this headspace on it all the time, you've a chance of picking up infection. Not for a couple of days or anything like that, but if you can move this through as quickly as possible, there is definitely a bonus. And plus the fact you then get rid of your bucket, you're not going to be in trouble with people at home because you've got all your equipment all over the place. So that's a real bonus. And obviously when it's alcohol, it's a lot reduced. But if we look at the principles of it, we've got in here 24 litres. So we're going to get six lots of four litres through the machine. Remembering we're going up to the four litre mark. We're going to get six lots of four litres each time we collect 800 mils at 60%. Dilute that down, 40, dilute that down to 40% by adding 50% more water. So we're going to add 400 mils to the 800 mils, making 1.2 litres in total, and our alcohol strength has come from 60 down to 40. So we've got six lots going through the machine, six times 1.2 litres, we're getting roughly 7.2 litres of 40% alcohol every time we do a wash using the yeast. 
Now people say to me, how safe is this? Do we need to throw away the first bit? No, you don't. The reason we don't is because we insist that you use that pure yeast with either sugar or brewing sugar. Provided you stick to that, the amount of badness in there is so, so small. Methanol is one of the things that is produced. And in there, you'll have one tenth of the methanol you'll find in a bottle of commercial whiskey. So I'm not saying that you need to drink 10 times as much because it's 10 times safer, because I think that might do you more harm, but it is a lot safer than a bottle of commercial whiskey. Basically what we're making is we're making vodka. This is vodka that we've got here, and we're gonna add that, we're gonna add flavorings to it at a later stage. But before we come on to that, I would just like to show you the final process. And the final process is just designed to take out any impurities that are in it. This carbon cartridge we have soaked for about 20 minutes in hot water. You'll see it bubbling as, as the carbon activates. We've put that back into place. That's in here. I've just moved the still backwards a little. And in she goes. So that is our alcohol which is at 40%. Now carbon is not effective unless it's less than 50%. So other machines on the market will not work and not do the job because they're designed to allow the alcohol to go through the carbon at 60% and it's just not effective. You may as well not bother doing it. So we're gonna let that run through. Now that's gonna take about six to eight hours. If it takes longer, maybe you've got it slightly too tight. If it takes less time, maybe you've got it too loose. So we're looking for a six hours from start to finish. Some people will then put it through twice. So once it's gone through, they'll repeat the process again. And that will give it a cleaner alcohol. The more times it goes through the carbon, the cleaner it gets. That carbon is not reusable. So don't use it next time, you need a fresh one. Each time you've got 1.2 liters, you need a fresh carbon disc to go in there and pre-soak it first. What's left in the machine, just chuck it. But be very careful, because this is gonna be really hot. And there's no reason why you can't go straight into your next one. You don't have to leave it pausing or waiting or anything like that. Just remember, obviously when we're getting rid of the liquid, in the base, we have the ceramic saddles. So if you just wanna pour that through a sieve, just to collect them, that's fine. If you're careful, you can actually pour it through and just leave them behind. Don't forget just to give those a quick rinse before you come on to your next one. All the machines come with a 12 month guarantee and we very, very rarely had a problem. They are so reliable, they're fabulous. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that run through. Once we've let that run through, I would like to just spend a few minutes talking to you about flavoring the alcohol.